I've had a great idea. We're going to take a helium balloon. We're going to go and fly the paraglider to see how high we can go. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> how high we can go with this thing. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> Helium is an inert gas. It's the second lightest element. Only hydrogen is lighter. You can't see it, you can't smell it, and you can't taste it. Although helium is abundant in the cosmos, it's concentrated in the stars, where it is synthesized from hydrogen by nuclear fusion. Well, at least it's biodegradable. Helium occurs in the Earth's atmosphere only one part in 200,000, because it doesn't form compounds with anything. And it's so light that Earth's gravity is not enough, so it escapes into space. What I didn't know until I started researching this video is that the helium gas we get in the tank is a rare thing. There is no chemical way to make helium. It comes from the slow radioactive decay that occurs in rocks, which seeps into natural gas supplies over billions of years. It is then isolated from natural gas at low temperatures and under high pressures. Oh, that doesn't happen when we're up there. It's currently still cheap, but that's probably because we haven't yet discovered what we desperately need it for. Apart from scientific research, medical technology, high-tech manufacturing, space exploration, and national defense. Ah. This is going to be so scary! I'm starting to think I've made a big mistake using helium. doesn't seem to be working. I'm going down. Why is that? Whoa, there's the pool. We're going up. That's amazing. We're climbing. Up we go. Oh, we're sinking. That shouldn't be happening. the balloon go up and I didn't go up. So yeah, there's the clue that this isn't going to work because the glider's on the ground. It doesn't even have enough power to lift the paraglider weight, which is like three and a half kilograms. <laughs> so maybe you know, how much helium does it take to lift the person? Let's do a rough calculation. One liter of helium lifts about one gram. So a thousand liters lifts just over one kilogram. And an 80 kilogram human, 80,000 liters of helium. Is there even enough space inside the paraglider to lift me? Let's calculate the volume. The distance this way from wingtip to wingtip is about 11 meters. The distance this way, that's called the cord, and it's about two meters on average by 11, which gives you a flat area of about 22 square meters. But what about the depth? 
how much air can we get inside these cells? Well, then we've got to look at the wing from the side. The air comes in the front and fills up this to the trailing edge. This is about 35 centimeters at its widest point, and then it tapers down to nothing. So if we calculated the volume using this 35 centimeter rectangle and divided it in two, you'd get about the volume inside the wing. But it also tapers towards the wing tips. If you look at the center of the paraglider, it's like that. And at the wing tips, it's only like this. It tapers down to the sides. So we're gonna have to take about three quarters of this final result to give us a rough estimate of what's inside. Right, so 35 centimeters depth, divide by 100 to get it in meters, times by three, divide by four for the taper, divide by two for the taper, times 11 for this flat area, times two, and we get almost three. That's how much volume we've got in the paraglider. About three cubic meters, which is about 3,000 liters, which means we can lift three kilograms. We'd need nine tanks just to fill the paraglider completely. To get me off the ground with the wing, we'd need very roughly 11,879 normal balloons, or approximately 238 of those party balloon tanks. So that helium is doing absolutely nothing in the paraglider. You can make a helium balloon big enough to fly, but it is big. Check out Tom Scott's video to see how big the aeroplume is. Get a paraglider instead. They work best when they're powered by the wind and sunlight. Paragliders are incredible aircraft. And once you've learned all the secrets of flying them, you can do incredible things. This little piggy went all the way home. Welcome to my office where I regularly make training videos for my academy. Learn to fly or level up on flywithgreg.com.